friends welcome to mkd mixture in this video i'm going to show you how to create a notebook and how to assign it to a cluster so first uh, if you need to create a notebook you can go to this create and you can create a notebook from here and other option is you can go to the workspace and you can right click here and you can create a notebook okay in my last video i explained that to run a notebook you need to create a cluster or compute engine you can create a cluster from here or from notebook also so first to uh, let me do one thing let me create a notebook let me from here i'm going to create a notebook uh, this is the notebook you can see and let me give my notebook name mkd make sure one okay here on this notebook you can see there's some option the file option is here you can see the new notebook import clone rename move all the option is here you can export this uh, notebook as dbc file okay and the edit option is there view and run all the option is there if you want to run all things of this notebook then you need to click here or the other option is you can run from here so uh, this is the notebook you can see and there's option python it is a python notebook if i click here on sql you can see this will be sql and scala if i click then this notebook will work as scala and there's option for r also okay so let me set by default as python and if you want to run this notebook you can see uh, to run a notebook you need to create a cluster okay so let me do one thing let me let me write a python command simple command welcome to sure. if i want to hit uh, you can you can run from here run shell you can see this option okay attached to a cluster so we have not created a cluster so you can create a cluster from here also or from compute engine okay so let me create a cluster from compute engine so i need to go to the compute engine and here is the option okay so create a cluster you can see the cluster name option is here mkd make sure my cluster name and this is the option what type of cluster you want to create so by default it is 12.2 or you can select other option also okay uh, here is option for spark or other things if you need to give some configuration you can give here so simply you need to give a cluster name and you need to select a version and you need to hit here okay so you can see it is uh, running so it is a 15 gb memory two core cpu you can see this option here and it will take two to three minutes to uh, be ready okay so let me go to the workspace again uh, how you will go to the workspace you need to go to recent also then you can see the recent activity and you can see your workspace okay so it will take two to three minutes to update you can see it's starting so let me do one thing let me explain uh, this notebook you can see there's an option here the drop down you can see copy cell cut export shell also okay and you can hear the option you can see if you if you give some name of this cell then you can change here from here uh, my first project 
okay this is the name i have given you can hide also hide the titles also and you can give i can show the titles as well so uh, there is option to run or here is the option other option like you need to click if you want to run all the cell then control then enter and if you need to run all things together then there is a run or option option shift enter okay i'm using mac so this is the option for mac if you are using windows then this option will be something different okay so it will take a uh, few minutes to ready we have to wait it's running this output okay in this cell if i need to create a sql command then you can do one thing just percentage and then sql and then heat and then if i uh, use a show databases let me hit this one you can see the default databases will be there okay you can see this uh, this is a python and this is the sql okay you can see the database listed here so default database will be here at the output okay and here again i need to i explain that there is uh, something uh dbfs file system okay the file the table there is nothing so here if i need to create uh, if i need to list this file system and then you can just give percentage fs file system and uh, sorry uh, you need to let me delete this one you need to give simply percentage percentage fs then ls uh, and you need to give the file structure directory you can see this is the file, file story and table i need to go to recent and you can see uh, this is the list so let me hit by default this is the location where your database and all the file will be stored okay so you need to remember file store and table there is nothing in this directory you can create a directory from here also so all those things i will explain one by one so you can see if i uh, change my cell as python you can by default it is python and you can see the this cell i have mentioned percentage sql and it is it is converted as sql and you can see fs you can see this fs and scala also if you need some scala percentage uh, fs scala you can see it will be uh, converted as scala okay so you can run any anything under scala and same things you can see this uh, it is changed as scala okay so guys uh, this is how you can create you can see here on my workspace you can see i'm getting mixture one this is my notebook okay and uh, you can see the from recent also and you can see the compute engine that is a compute engine running you can you can uh, delete and clone also okay so this is how you can create your first notebook and you can create a cluster and you can attach the cluster okay so let me show uh, one more things uh, you can publish from here also if you want to publish this uh, notebook you need to hit here and you can publish and this is the location where it is safe okay so this is the basic overview how to create a notebook and how to create a cluster and how to assign this cluster with this notebook okay so in the next video i'm going to show you how to upload uh, xml file or json file to this notebook and all the stuff hope you will subscribe my channel thank you